Everyone, let's go to the Liberty University Newsmaker Line. Our good friend, the president of Liberty University, Dr. Jerry Falwell, Jr. Dr. Falwell, good to have you with us today. Always good to be with you, Ty. By the way, I uh, saw you on Waters World over the, the weekend, and uh, mm-hmm. I love the Lion King reference to Mitt Romney. <laughs> well, I was uh, in Iowa early in the week, so it was a good week last week, and we... Yeah, I, I just could. I kept thinking about that movie, and there's so many parallels. You know, the uh, the hyenas or the Democrats, and and Scar. The uh, I call him a lion, a lion in name only. <laughs> I, I compared him to, to Mitt Romney because he worked with the hyenas, hyenas to try to overthrow the king, and look what happened to the Pride Land when that gang got in control, and that's the same thing that would happen to America if the Democrats ever got back in control. And it's something we got to fight hard to avoid. And I, I couldn't think of an analogy from The Lion King for Nancy Pelosi. You have to go all the way back to The Wizard of Oz for that, but I'm not going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Paul. We already calls enough controversy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, I, there's, there's a lot of excitement out there. Um, among conservatives, but but it's been tempered by these these attacks on on people who are wearing MAGA hats or you know this horrible story down in Florida where you had a bunch of elderly uh, conservatives nearly get run over by this guy in, in a van, and yet the mainstream media they don't cover any kinds of uh, stories like this. Yeah, I had to search hard to even find that story, and uh, it's just um, there's so many good stories that that are hidden. Um, President Trump just last week um, did some major things Uh, well of course they didn't really cover the USMCA signing like they should have they didn't cover his uh, push to for school choice which is so important to the African American community for uh, for for young people to be able to choose not to go into a poorly run public government school and things like that just get swept under the rug and it's uh, it's just sad to see, but it's the world we live in. And thank God for people like you, and for and for Fox, and for uh, and for Sean Hannity, and and so many others that are they're in the in the minority, but at least they're there. And uh, it, forty years ago, they weren't. What about there on campus at Liberty? Are are you are you sensing that um, that the younger voters are are excited about? The, the election coming up in November? I think, yeah, more than usual, because young people are still at a stage in their lives where they haven't started paying taxes yet, so they don't really, they haven't focused on politics like older folks have, and but they but they still see the danger of, of what could happen to their country, to their future, and they've got a lot more at stake than you and I do. We're, we're older. We um, don't have our whole whole lives ahead of us like they do and and it's just um you know when they see democrats play games like uh like like mitt romney you know he he uh his brand of professional politician that pretend to be con- conservatives because they're good family people and people of faith now they've been exposed and i heard today that romney may have actually voted for impeachment I don't know who it was I heard on the radio say that because he's trying to position himself to be a VP candidate for a Democratic presidential candidate in 2020. And I think that would be, I would have a lot more respect for him if he did that because he he can't fool people into thinking he's a conservative anymore, so he might as well admit what he is and go on across. And um, But I really think all this impeachment stuff, all the craziness, is because the Democrats are scared of scared to death that John Durham is going to put half of them in jail this summer when he finishes his criminal investigation. But the but the funny thing that nobody's really noticed about impeachment, the most damage that impeachment did to anybody was the Bidens. I mean, who would have ever focused on that deal with Burisma and Ukraine if it hadn't been for the Democrats going after impeachment like they did? That, that just put the spotlight right on that corrupt deal and now he's losing in Iowa and New Hampshire and or appears to be and it's just uh, it seems like they shot themselves in the foot that's the candidate that the uh, 
that the Democratic establishment wanted to see win. So I, anyway, I, I, those are just some thoughts. But but students at Liberty um, are more energized than you normally see young people energized about politics. It's um, when I was their age, I was still trying to figure out what what, what my political views were going to be and. It wasn't until I started listening to Rush Limbaugh in 1992 that I became super solid as a as a conservative, and I understood why. And uh, I think you'll see. I think young people have to go through that same osmosis. Yeah, I'm. You know, I'm with you, and I was the same way. Um, really, Rush was so instrumental and influential in, in you know in, in my early years of just understanding what it meant to be a conservative, and. And for the first time, I actually heard somebody who was saying something on the radio that I actually felt, and I had, you know, maybe didn't have the courage to say at the time. Uh, and and I, I, you know, it's hard for young people. I gave, a, I was speaking to a bunch of college kids this weekend in Nashville, and I said, you know, Rush Limbaugh really was the original social media network for conservatives. I've met so many people who say, everybody from Matt Whitaker, I was with him in Iowa. To, I mean, you name it. They say I would not be a conservative if it wasn't for for uh, Rush Limbaugh. And you know, with young people, all they have to do is look at the numbers. They they actually have prospects of getting jobs now. There's seven million new jobs in the country. Unemployment rates down to three point five percent. And he did it without controlling the Senate. People don't realize this. He really did not control the Senate his first two years. It was fifty two forty eight Republican, but there were three turncoats. They voted the wrong way every time. And then the second two years of his term, of course, he doesn't have the Congress. But in spite of all that and all the investigations, he is, it's, it's, he's accomplished more and, and more for people of faith, more for average Americans and more for people of faith than any president that I can remember. Well said. Well said. Uh, by the way, um, real quick, uh, give us an update on the Falkirk Center. Uh, hearing more and more about that just about every day. Uh, people really getting excited about what you guys are doing. Yeah, we, we, you know, Falkirk's helping a lot with this Vexit movement in Virginia where we, we have counties in Virginia circulating petitions to, to become, to switch over to West Virginia because Northern Virginia, the Washington suburbs, there's so many people there, and they dominate Virginia politics politics now, and you can't get a conservative election elected to statewide office anymore. And Virginia's already split twice. Kentucky switched, uh, switched over in 1792. Um, West Virginia split off in 1863. And, you know, we think it's time for us to chop it again and just let the I-95 corridor, Northern Virginia, have their own little party. And uh, Falkirk has been helping a lot with that because they have all these young influencers who on social media are able to reach millions of people. And uh, Charlie Kirk and, and all the people involved with that are just, uh, I'm so proud to be associated with them. And it's, uh, it's exciting to watch. And we're pretty excited. We're going to be coming to campus as well. I mean, it's, uh, you guys are just growing and blowing out there at uh, Liberty University. It's just because we're just dare to be different. I mean, it's that simple. It's 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 the other side makes it that makes it easy for us because all we have to do is not do what the other colleges do. <laughs> and, and parents look, parents look, and they say, "Okay, that's where you're going, Johnny or Susie." And so that's um that's it's 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 like shooting fish in a barrel because it's um it's what's right. All right, Dr. Falwell, we got to leave it there. Thank you, sir. Well, glad to be with you, Todd, anytime, and, uh, and, and God bless you. Jerry Falwell, Jr., ladies and gentlemen, from Liberty University.